there's a lot of concern that uh, we are now living in a more and more sexualized environment. Uh, when we just take music vi videos, for instance, then we see that already in the 1970s they were highly sexualized. Uh, when you think about uh, David Bowie, for instance, or early Prince. So we see different waves of concern. Um, while it's really hard to determine um, empirically if there's actually more sexualization. Maybe we should look at what we call sexual scripts. So these are kind of like scenarios that, and they tell us how to behave sexually. Now there's loads of different sexual scripts, but some are more dominant than others. So when you watch, for instance, a lot of sitcoms, you'll see that most of the sexual scripts that you'll see are heterosexual. They're about waiting for the right person uh, and then, you know, living happily ever after with that. So that also excludes a lot of possible other sexual scripts. So in that sense, they're very normative. The story is a little bit different when we throw in, for instance, homosexuality. What if your daughter is a lesbian? How is she then making meaning from these sexualized scenes? I guess everybody says that they themselves are not susceptible to media influence. So it's always the other who is uh, more susceptible. That doesn't mean, however, that these effects do not apply. So what's interesting or what's important is to study how people give meaning. So that means talking about how you watch Desperate Housewives or Sex in the City, what kind of things you take from that or what kind of things you don't like about that. Because it's also possible to give a counter meaning, for instance, uh, if you really don't like Samantha being so promiscuous in Sex in the City, then it's still important for who you are uh, as an identity, but you are opposing that, but that's also giving meaning. And this is so interesting about the media, right? The media are powerful, but we don't really know in which ways they're powerful, and we constantly uh, uh, try to negotiate that as well. It's not like the media work as an injection needle, needle and the viewer just takes in everything uh, uh, that the producer has intended.